This video will demonstrate a series of lung qigongs. Begin by rolling your shoulders to relax your neck, and upper back, and shoulders. And then as you inhale, pull the qi energy in towards the front of your shoulders. Exhale and push out. Inhale, breathe the qi into these three points in your chest. The beginning of the lung meridians in the front upper part of the chest and shoulders. And then there's a key point for the lungs in the center of the chest. So as you do this exercise, breathe into all three of those centers. You can also combine this with visualization so that you're seeing light at those three points. Exhale, push out. For this next move, we're gonna inhale and open through the chest, keeping the hands parallel with the ground. Inhale, and there's a slight back bend there. As you exhale, bring your palms together. Inhale, open through the chest, look up and lean back. Exhale, bring the palms together. Inhale through the nose and then go into the back bend. Exhale, squat down, bring the palms of your hands together in front of you. Inhale, open and expand up. There's a sense of lifting up through the chest as we do this movement. And then as you continue to do it, try to go into a deeper squat with each exhalation as well. That constitutes the second move. Now bring your palms to your chest, exhale, push down. Take a wider stance, roll your shoulders out between the different movements. And then we're going to inhale, reaching to one side. And as you do this, the focus is on breathing into the lung on the side that you turn to. So I'm turning to the right side, reaching up. I'm feeling my rib cage expand. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, turn to the other side. Inhale into that lung and it feel your rib cage expand and open. So we're breathing into one lung at a time as we expand and open through the rib cage on the side that we're turning to. This constitutes the third movement. Now we're going to return to a simple movement where we just lift our shoulders up halfway, exhale, bring the hands back down, inhale, and you're going to do a slight back bend with this movement and bring your attention back to these three points in the center of the chest. Again, you can visualize light at these three points or you can direct and guide your breath into those three points with that movement. Now roll your shoulders between going into the next move. This is a transition. For this next move, we want to take a low lunge position, and there's three points in the thigh that we want to pay attention to. Now you can use your elbows to press into these points. I suggest starting with your forearm and rolling across the top of the thigh as you see me doing now, because that helps to soften the tissue and it's just a more gentle way in. Now after you've done that, you can go back to using the elbow and then massaging along this line. And it's just on the side of the bone, but you can explore the whole thigh area. When you use the forearm like this, you can get across the top of the thigh. And when you find a tender point, you can apply pressure there. So just pause at any sensitive points or tender points and leave your elbow in that point. That will help to release that trigger point. And then you can go back to rolling across the thigh. Here you see me moving into a transition and be sure to do both sides. That way you'll keep good balance. Here you can see me rolling my forearm across these points again. And then I'm using my elbow. So I recommend going up and down the thigh as you do this and then doing that at least two or three times on each side. If you have lung problems or if any of these points are extra sensitive, you can apply stronger pressure with your elbow. You can also spend a little more time there. Sometimes I'll advise clients to spend up to two minutes on a point with their elbow or to go up and down the line for two to three minutes. Now here I'm returning to that first move, but I'm doing it in a low lunge position, which is benefiting those five points, but then I'm also doing my basic qigong movements. Here I'm repeating that second movement where I'm opening the chest as I inhale and go into a back bend and then I exhale and I bring the 
palms together. And notice how I'm deepening the lunge as I exhale, I move forward, and that's going to strengthen thighs and strengthen legs, which has a effect on the lungs as well. This is just a transition, and make sure you do this on both sides. So here I'm repeating that first movement with my hands, exhaling out slowly, inhaling into those three points in the chest that make that triangle. Now a key point of doing lung qigongs is also to keep the mouth closed while you do the exercises. Occasionally you can exhale through the mouth, however it's best to always inhale through the nose and then on every third or fourth breath you can exhale through the mouth. But by breathing through the nose it's really beneficial for the lungs. And there's a lot more that I could say about that, but I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So try to practice slow, light breathing through your nose as you do these exercises and make sure that you're not inhaling through your nose. Now there I've just demonstrated some wave hands like cloud movements from Tai Chi and these are some transitions. I love to do squats in my Qigong movements because they're so beneficial for so many organs. Now this is just a simple qigong that you can do in between the more advanced movements as I exhale I drop my hands and ground into my body as I inhale I lift the chi up to my chest and into my lungs inhale lifting up and then palms together I'm settling into that center point in the middle of my chest and hold there for some time here you can see I've taken a wider stance I'm practicing some of the same movements that we've already done. I'm exhaling and pushing out, keeping the mouth closed for most of the out breaths and keeping the mouth closed for the in breaths. Inhaling, pulling energy and chi into those three points in the chest. Exhale, squatting down and pushing out. Exhale, squat down deeper, push out, inhale, breathe chi into those three points in the center of the chest. This is a great movement. Combine these wider squats with that second arm movement as well. Exhale, bring the palms together, inhale, expand, open, lift through the chest, exhale, relax, deepen the squat with each movement. Now, as you begin to do this, you'll have a certain amount of mobility, but as you repeat these qigongs, try to go a little further with each exhalation and inhalation, and then you can return to center, ground into your body. This is a transitional movement. I like to place this movement in between the more difficult ones. This helps to return to a state of balance, centering, and grounding. Now here you see me tapping on the front of the shoulder. This is where the first two points on the lung meridian are at. I also like to put the three tips of my fingers together and then you can also tap down the arm. So here tap down between the bicep and the tricep on the side part of your arm and then you can go up and down that line a few times. And then as you tap down your forearm, you want to tap down the top of your radius. So there's a line from the big tendon at your elbow, if you bend your elbow slightly and draw a line from there to the base of your thumb. There's a point there as well as between the thumb and the index finger, that point LI4. You can apply some massage there as you do this because that LI4 point is also beneficial for helping the lung functions. And repeat this on the opposite side. So begin by tapping the front of your shoulder and then going down between the biceps and the bone. Don't tap too hard here. You don't want to injure yourself or bruise yourself and then tap down the forearm on that line from the tendon of the biceps down to the base of the thumb. After you do that a few times, you can massage the webbing between your index finger and your thumb and the LI4 point, and then roll your shoulders out to finish the movement. You can go back and forth here as well from 
thumb to thumb and side to side and get those LI4 points because they are such a vital part of promoting health in general, but they also directly benefit the lungs.